Everyone, welcome to another episode of The New Marketing Show. This is a bonus edition, and you can also get the video of this on our Instagram TV and on YouTube. So today, let's talk about Facebook ads. And you know, Facebook ads are still super valuable, as you'll hear a lot of people talk about. But Facebook ads, I don't, the, the reason I love Facebook ads, first of all, is because you can go ahead and you can really, really pinpoint exactly who you're trying to talk to and who you're trying to message. So here are a couple of tips. Here are two tips that really help you get to where you're going to get more traffic to your site, to get more, hopefully, conversions, and to get more people interested in your brand and get some buzz going. Now, here's a disclaimer. All of this is predicated on the copy of your ad and the image of your ad, and making sure that that's as compelling as possible and it resonates with your audience in a true way that it's true to your product. No bait and switch, no bullshit like that. So make sure that you hone in the copy to get people excited. Let's make sure that you get an image to kind of stir up some emotion and get some, you know, get people that, you know, really jazzed and really excited about what's going on. This is what's going to bring traffic to your audience. First of all, when you go ahead and you try to segment your traffic and you target your audience, make sure that you first of all target all the people who like your page and all the all of your friend, their friends. So everyone who likes your page and their friends. The next thing is, I would find who likes, ready for this? Your competitors. It sounds so simple, but so many people don't do it. Now I would figure out if you are in, you know, let's say you're Nike, right? I would also target that ad to everybody who likes Adidas, to everybody who likes Reebok, everybody who likes the closest thing in your in your vertical. Now, if you're Nike SB, which is the skateboarding arm of Nike, I would target people who like Vans, people who like DC. So that way you're making sure that you're speaking to the right people about the right thing. Here's the second thing, and this is what people don't do. Also target complementary companies to your own. So if you're targeting, again, if you are Nike, maybe you want to target, maybe, you know, maybe, let's say you're Nike SB and that's the skateboarding arm and you want to go ahead and you want to do an ad, I would target people who like primitive skateboards or people who like toy machine or people who like element skateboards, et cetera, et cetera, Spitfire wheels, independent trucks, things like that. Because now what you're doing is you're taking your brand and you're starting to expand the sphere of influence to other people's brands. And then from there, what you can do is you can really start to make a difference. And what will happen is you can go ahead and you can really start to, you know, influence your market and learn exactly who you need to talk to what you need to say, and then hopefully get some people you know who are interested in, in, in using your product and service. So give those two things a go. One, target your, your own fans and your own friends of fans. Target your competition and target like industries. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Can't believe I dropped the camera. I dropped the camera. Sorry, guys.